Okay, we got the mountains in now. And maybe we can come in with some distant distant trees, but I think I'm gonna go into this two-inch brush, load it up with some liquid clear. I'm gonna put some trees in and stuff. We're gonna go into some blues. I think dark blue and some purple. Blue and black. Almost like a purple and a black color. Get some wintry, wintry colors. Okay, we'll tap that. And we'll come in and determine where we want some bushes to be or here and there. Just pushing up. and trees and things. Highlight this with some some blue, some whites. And this is going to be a wintry scene. Clean that brush off. I use odorless paint thinner. It's always a good thing. And we'll come into some white. Liquid white. And maybe some of this color blue. wintry look. A wintry... A wintry wonderland. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. i set this down here. Grab some more white. like we did the other one, just like we did the trees. happening in here. And 
using some liquid white. Whiten it up. Whiten it and brighten it up. Just tapping it on the brush. some more of that white. It's a wintry scene. So you're going to have a lot of lighter. We'll come back here. Maybe it's some white too. Let's put some white on there. And we'll come in to just wait. Just wait. blues and purples in the landscape. Then we'll come back in. Load it right up. Then we'll come back in and put some snow in. So maybe our maybe our Landscape is right back in through here. We put the snow on after here. Did a highlight it. Kind of blend it all in. Maybe you can have. Maybe we can have a meadow. Maybe a birch tree coming out. Or down on the angles where you might think the, the snow would be. Just 
just a meadow of snow. in front of there comes right down all the way down into here we'll get the fan brush going one with the white on it down here we'll take the palette knife we'll clean up some of this scrape up some of that here and right at the base here you got this all rough there's water splashing and things happening Need 
more white up there though. come back in and do something with that in a minute. We'll come back into some white and a little bit of blue mixed in. Come in and make some make some stones and stuff. Maybe a little bit of black. on that edge there. Yeah, that makes it look 
look like it's cut off there. Now we'll come in to some lighter color with that brown look for the highlight. here and there kind of get the, the illusion. Now we can come back in to the darker color and come right over the stones and stuff. Purples, blues, dark color. And we can come in with the snow and that'll, that'll enhance that, set that right off. icy stream. Maybe you can go right back to here. You want that dark color? Because you're going to see when that snow comes down to the edge, it's going to look real nice. It's going to really make it sharp. Be a sharp edge here. Kind of roughen that up a little bit. I'm going to bring some color in here, this side too. like that. Looks pretty good. Now we'll come in to the liner brush. Come into this brush right here. I'm gonna get some liquid clear on there. Going to pull up some of the branches and twigs and use just that edge of it. this 
flying our brush. That one stuff was coming up a little bit too thick. The branches and things. Now we don't want that. We just want to pull up here and there. And Different angles when it come from different sides just to get stuff happening back there. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this brush off. Wipe that off with all that color on there. Because we want just white. Highlight that snow. Highlight the snow area. Come into some liquid white. Put it on both sides. And let's see, we'll have some snow coming right down. down too far because you want to leave that dark area in there. That sharp dark. Make it all snowy. We're only using a few different colors, purples and purples and blues. And just white, strictly white. Wanna keep hitting that white. here to tap that. Come into the blender brush. Want it as white as we can. Tap this just at the base. Get 
get that snowy look. And it'll highlight the more you come in here. The more areas that you want that white to be. Wipe off that because you got a lot of that blue on there. You just want to keep that white for the snow. Wipe that off. soften that in. Kind of blends that back. Wipe that off. Come in right in here. Take another little ledge there. Right down to the rock. off some. We're going to come into the white again and we're going to keep working it. Keep working. The white. And blending it in. The clean brush. As clean as you can get it anyways. Some more white, liquid white. Get that snow, that snow build up. built up back here. More white. More white. You blend that in now. You blend your brush. we get that snowy look all the way down wipe that off tap that in going there. Well, we want that snow to really show up there. All the way down. Come all the way down to the water. that 
blue. You have to put that on there for the shadows. Because automatically the shadows come up. shape taking shape need more white brush again. Tap that snow down. Getting some snow in there. that dark blue down there, that kind of gives you your the look. More white.
like that. And we keep working it. Step back. See if we're getting that snowy look. brush blend it tap it just barely just barely I think down here I need something. Maybe another little. Just like that. So where it's not real dark. And we can do something here too. Just color that in. Now, what I see. It's right in here. highlighting it. Take a blender brush and just a corner. We're just going to tap that. snowy snow stuff happening. More white. Not happy with the whiteness yet. I 
It used to be a lot whiter. Whiter. Snow. That's what we want. Snow. Snow. Snowy. Just tap that. Not to take none of that away. We still want that bright. Right snow look right to the edge. Just like that. Come over here. Just tap that. Need that white. Okay, we got that going on. More snow. I want more snow. I want it right in here, I think. There, back here. Wintry, wintry wonderland. that like that and not put nothing else there just because that's what I like okay we'll come into this little tiny brush we use get some dark color liquid clear we'll put our bird in our bird is flying Flying right overhead. Can 
now I'm going to come in and put a birch tree in here. So we'll get a little brush like this here. And we'll come into some liquid clear, some browns, maybe some blacks, who knows. this one up. Just like that. Who knows, maybe we can have another one up here. at the bottom, at the base. Okay, clean off that brush, and we'll come into some white, some white to highlight it. I think what we'll do is we'll get a fan brush going. with some white. down and we'll get some more on here and we'll pull across kind of a semi-circular semi-circular motion Some 
twigs coming out of here. some of that up with the uh, branches and leaves maybe. Just us some white.
trees going on. We'll make some bushes over here. Take this brush with the colors on it, the blues and the blacks and purples and we'll make a we'll make a bush there. And we'll come in the same colors we used back there. More white. More white and blue. white. It's all we're looking for is the white. We'll tap in some white here. Bright white. Down like that. Get some white on there. Just let's pull some white blues off of there. Come right in here and tap this. Have those set right down in there. Just like that. What I see. a little bit too bright back there. A little bit too much sticking out. Let's 
soften it up. Maybe we need more white up there coming down. Right from the waterfall. Right through here. More white. the way down. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call this a completed painting. Come down here and mark it with a light color. I like signing mine with my last name. Some people use their initials whatever you prefer. Doesn't really much matter. But when you do, use your last name. You can find out a lot easier instead of trying to figure out your, initi your initials. I always put the year in. The year that I painted it. Let you know your progression and what you were thinking at the time. Sometimes family members and people want to know. I hope you enjoyed this one. Did a little bit of a winter scene. I hope you're painting along with me and I hope you come back and see me. Bye.